Hello everyone, welcome back to another daily Minecraft tutorial and today we're going to be showing you how to get fresh animations for Minecraft version 1.21.3. Take it away! Yeah, so in this video I'm going to show you how to do just that and how to get fresh animations working in Minecraft. So, to begin, all you need to do is go on the Fresh Animations website, which is hosted by Modrant, and you're gonna have the link in the description if you want it faster. All you wanna do is simply look up Fresh Animations, there you go, and here you're gonna have some websites. I just put the modern for and just simple to use, especially with the other packs you need to download. So, Fresh Animations is just a resource pack in itself. So, what you wanna do is quite simple, is just go in versions, and find the version that is closest to, well, 1.21.3. In this case, it's 1.21.1. Reason for that? Well, it's not updated for the version, but it does still work. It's just that some other things don't work, but they do work, because nothing new has been added, really. So this is completely fine to use. That's why it has not been actually updated in the first place. Then, what you want to do is go to the description of Fresh Animations, and there will be the link in the description for this as well. But what you want is download Entity Model Features and Entity Texture Features. These are two things that you want to download as well. So, clicking on the first one, we're going to have EMF. All we have to do is go to Versions and find Fabric for 1.21.3. These both work. We're going to be using Fabric as well, so that's perfect. Then what we want to do is go back to this and go to Entity Texture Features. There you go. Now all we need to do is go to Versions and find the same thing. 1.1.3 Fabric. Perfect. Now we have three files in one folder on our computer. What do we do? Well, we need to have Fabric to be able to run the mods which will carry the Fresh Animations resource pack. To do so, all we have to do is go to New Tab or the link in the description and look up Fabric Minecraft. Okay, so once we have Fabric Minecraft.net or Fabric MC, just click on there and we will have Fabric Loader. Right? Simply click the blue download button and click download for Windows. Sometimes you might have clicked this if it doesn't work, so make sure to have click download for Windows So like this you know it will work Okay, it has to be exe. If it, do, if it is dot jar, try to download for Windows, okay? Now we have four items We basically are done So as we're done, just click on that and close the browser. We will need it Simply go to your file manager because we will have to execute the fabric installer to have mods on Minecraft. So, all we need to do is open up the file explorer, then download. This can be different depending on your settings. For me, it's default, so it will be the downloads folder. Simply go to .exe, fabric installer, this one. Double click that, and it should show up. Make sure the version is 1.21.3. If it's not, click it here. But it is selected as this is the latest version for this recording. Simply click install and we are done. Now we can do OK and exit out. Now that we don't have that, simply go to your Minecraft launcher, open it, and let's wait for it to open up. And then we can go to the next step. Okay, okay. Here we can see we have Fabric Loader 1.1.3. The reason this is here is because it's the latest action in the Minecraft folder, so it will show up as the latest thing. What you want to do is go to the Installations tab right here and click one of these folder icons. Reason for that is once you click it, you're gonna be sent to the .minecraft folder. And the reason this is important is because you will find a folder called Mods right here. Simply click that, and you're gonna have an empty folder because there's no mods. To add mods to this folder, all you have to do is go to your downloads folder, find these two Java files, 
just select that now entity features entity model copy them go to the top left to go back to mods tap that and paste now we have two jar files in our mods folder that's all we need now we can close the file manager go to play make sure we have fabric loader 1.1.3 selected if we have that selected click play and wait for minecraft to open up okay here's minecraft okay here we have minecraft it opened up we have minecraft 1.21.3 fabric modded this is how we know fabric works simply go to a single player world or a server doesn't really matter and once we're here we can go to the last step i will open up the inventory to get myself a creeper I'm going to place a creeper right here. We can see this is the normal Minecraft animation. I'm hitting a creeper and nothing is going on. Why? Well, because we don't have the resource pack. Well, to get the resource pack, simply click escape and options. This is the same options in the Minecraft settings. Once we're here, simply go to resource packs. Here we see a list of resource packs. All you need to do is open up the pack folder. And once we're here, all we need to do is go to downloads, copy fresh animations right here, copy, go to the top left, back, and paste. There you go. Now in all of our folders, we have fresh animations. You do not need to unzip it. Okay. Once we're done, all we need to do is scroll down and we will find this. This does update live, so everything is good. We just do this, make sure everything is working, and there you go. So now we have fresh animations. As we can see, the creeper feet look a little bit different, and when I hit the creeper, we can definitely see that we have fresh animations working. So yeah, that's how we get fresh animations in Minecraft 1.21.3 so if you like today's video make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one bye